Hi, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice dresser that we're gonna redo for a client. So stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. All right, so our first step is to remove all the hardware, pull the drawers, make sure the subframe's all in good quality shape. From there, we'll sand this piece down, paint it, scuff it up a lot for our client, put the hardware back on after we wax it, and we'll get this piece finalized. So let's get the drawers removed, and we can start the sanding process here. So, oh yeah, let's do a run by real quick so you can kind of see what the beginning looks like. Alright, so we got the drawers removed, no real issues, so we can start the sanding process. Got my DeWalt sander, 80 grit sandpaper. We're going to do the entire piece, any flat areas with the DeWalt. We'll take the sandpaper off, we'll do any edges that we couldn't do with the DeWalt. My goal with this is to scuff it so the paint will stick nicely to it. Uh, we also want to expose some of the wood underneath because we're going to do a pretty hard sand on this one. So I want that black and I want the natural wood to come through when we're sanding uh, so it gives it a multi uh, layer of paint look to it so <laughs> here we go Sanded it down, vacuumed it, wiped it out, and now we're gonna start painting. Today we're gonna use our Glidden Premium in flat. I call it Robin's Egg, it's just an oops paint that I got way back, maybe year, year and a half ago, and I just keep using the custom color off of it. So I call it Robin's Egg. Now what we're gonna do, I've lifted it up to support my back and neck <laughs> from laying on the ground trying to do this. Let's lift the piece up. I'm basically gonna do everything below the trim here all the way around. I remove the back piece so I don't get any of the uh, paint on it. I just want a kind of a clean look on that back. So, and then uh, once I get that done, I'll do the drawers and I'll work the wet rest of the way up off of the uh, stands here. So, let's get started. Wooster two inch angle brush, one of my favorites. Here we go. We've done two coats on this, and now for our client, we're gonna scuff it up. We're gonna do a heavy scuff on this one. I'm gonna break out the DeWalt sander again so we can really get down into it. So kind of thinking back, we did a heavy sand to get through some of the black to the natural wood. Painted this twice, and so when we sand it down, we're gonna get some of the black, we're gonna get some of the natural wood, and we're gonna leave a lot of this color on it. So it's gonna be quite, quite the, the mixture of pieces to it. We'll take a couple pictures of it, send it to our client, and she loves it. 
Well, we'll move forward. If not, we'll add more sanding to it. We'll get it to that level that she wants. So uh, we'll do the frame, the drawers, and then we'll come back and hand sand everything that we couldn't get with the DeWalt sander. So let's get started. We've sanded it down nice and rough to the uh, client's liking. Now what we're going to do is add our wax to it. So nice and easy, just wipe on, wipe off. We'll do the entire uh, frame and then we'll do those drawers. So let's get started. completed robin's egg color we scuffed it down quite a bit give it a nice heavy uh scuff on it and then we waxed it overall pretty nice pretty quick easy project no real damage or anything like that that we had to fix makes projects a lot more fun if you like this project and many of our others subscribe to our channel like us on facebook and instagram and well leave us a comment or two about what you think about this piece